Let's face it, Godzilla was never much of a looker, but 70 years and dozens of films later, Japan's favorite kaiju is roaring louder than ever in his latest big-screen incarnation, which may be one of the best Godzilla films ever. Arriving seven years after Shin Godzilla, the Japanese-made Godzilla Minus One puts the American efforts of recent years to shame, I'm looking at you, 1998's Godzilla, with its combination of spectacular monster movie thrills and genuine emotion. This may be the only Godzilla movie that will make you feel verklempt by the time it concludes. Written and directed by Takashi Yamazaki, who's also credited with the visual effects, the film essentially serves as a reboot. The story begins in the final days of World War II, when kamikaze pilot Koichi, Ryuno Kamiki, terrific, makes the decision not to die for his country but rather to feign engine trouble and land on an island military base. Unfortunately, he chose the wrong moment, since not long after he arrives Godzilla shows up and lays waste to everyone there, the only survivors being Koichi and a mechanic, Munitaka Aoki. Months later, Koichi returns to Tokyo only to discover that his parents were killed and their home is in ruins. He befriends a young woman, Nariko, Minami Hamabe, who is taken in an orphaned infant girl, and the three form a makeshift family, with a friendly neighbor, Sakura Ando of Monster and Shoplifters, providing moral and babysitting support. Despite the happiness of his new relationships, Koichi is tormented by guilt, both for abandoning his kamikaze mission and surviving the massacre on the island.